very long, very long and involved question, eh? <coughs> Who has sent it? It's a youngster from Kababir. A youngster. Safat Sroor. Right. <coughs> he said, Hazrat, uh, there is a promise in the Holy Quran that Allah will give supremacy to believers. And when I do preaching to uh, some non ahmadi Muslims, I relate uh, this verse of the Holy Quran to them. And they draw the conclusions themselves that uh, when I, I ask them about the bad condition of the Muslims today, they said that because Muslims, they are far away from the real teaching of Islam, this is why this promise does not apply you on them. the word as for Yes. For them. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Hana. Yes. He said, uh, yes. He said, why they are in the lowest uh, levels nowadays? Uh, and then he said that with the, they, draw, they draw the conclusion that because they are uh, far away from teaching of Islam, he said, once they have reached this conclusion, how can I convince them that the only way for them to be saved is to join the uh, Jamaat of Hazrat Imam Mahdi alayhi salam? First of all, the promise of Antumul Alaun. This is a promise which is being carried out throughout the world without fail, without exception. The anti Ahmadi ulama are trying their best efforts, making their best efforts to stop the passage of Ahmadiyya to hinder it from growing further and wider. Where have they succeeded? Show me one country, one place. Nowhere. And the earth is marching forward with full glory everywhere in the world against not only the so-called ulema but also against Christian priests and Jewish uh, elders and whoever you call them and Hindu pandas whoever has attempted to stop the passage of Ahmadiyyat his efforts have been frustrated by God. The atheists have not been able to do so either. So there is not a question of any single religion. It is a question of the entire world and the promise of Antumul Alon is against the whole world. So as such, this promise in itself is being fulfilled in such a glorious way that if he does not have any other proof of the truth of Ahmadiyyat, he can remind the non ahmadi Muslims whom the, with whom he discusses Ahmadiyyat of this universal evidence and he can challenge them to prove it false. They can't. It's impossible for anyone to prove this promise false in its application to Ahmadis. But in its application to all other sects of Islam and all other people in the world, this promise is not uh, uh, manifested by God. All the efforts to spread their faith are carried out in a manner that uh, whenever there is true resistance against them by embodies, they always fail. So this shows al alon are Ahmadis. As long as they are not confronted with Ahmadis, they may spread the message. But the moment they feel they confront the opposition by Ahmadiyyat, they are Safilin and Ahmadis are alon. So this is a challenge to the entire world. And if anyone can effectively handle this argument, I think any sane person <coughs> with a sense of fear of God would accept it as a great sign of the truth of Ahmadiyya. 
as far as the word Safalin is concerned, we can, it's very difficult to call Muslims as a whole Safalin. I don't like that application. But the scholars, they are forward scholars who have taken up into their own hands the hostilities they unleash against Ahmadiyya. They are the leaders of opposition. Of them, it is the prophecy of the Holy Prophet himself that they would be Asfalim, Asfal Safilim, because the Holy Prophet وسلم, prophesied that wa ulamaahum sharru man tahtadim sama the worst under the firmament of heaven. So as, what more evidence can you find in favor of the word Asfalus Safarin being applicable to them? What is lower than a Safi Asfalus Safarin? <laughs> and this is the tradition of the Holy Prophet exactly applicable. Wa ulamaahum sharru man tahta adhimi sama. So again, these are not my words. I don't like it to be to like them to use against Muslims as such, and they are not used as against Muslims as such. Muslims can never be as philosophical, even when they have moved away from the fundamentals of Islam to a large degree. Still, it is not possible for us to believe that God would condemn them as as a philosophical. But their leaders who choose to oppose Ahmadiyya, they be can become as philosophical and according to this tradition, these are the people who would be the as philosophical, their uh, religious leadership. That of their religious leadership who take it into their own hand to oppose and destroy Ahmadiyya.